Okay, today we are going to show you how to install a hollow core door on a steel frame. So the steel frame already has some hinges that uh, cannot be removed, or it can be, but it's a little bit of a tricky one to remove. So it's got these two hinges. This is an old steel frame. You can see it's nice and thick. Uh, the hinges are nice and thick. So I'm going to take some measurements out in a moment, and we are going to show you how to install this hollow core door. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to measure out the distance between the uh, the recesses of the frame. So we're going to go to this recess to the floor and this recess to, to over there. We're measuring uh, this door opens inward. So we're measuring out the inward recess. And so our distance is that's 812. And our top distance is 2025. Okay, so normally when we measure a door frame out, we measure three points. So that one gives us 812 center point. Over there gives us 812, and the top gives us 814. So if you want to know how deep to recess uh, the hinge recess into the door. We're going to take it from the frame and we're going to recess it. Uh, just take our device here, measure it out to around about there and that's how deep we're going to make the recess. Now we're going to give it a slight um, opening obviously to compensate for the hinges. So 2025 is our one and uh, we're going to give that on to uh, translate okay so we've set up our fence so this distance here is marked out on the uh, on the saw so there's a little red mark there and uh, it usually works out about 35 millimeters and uh, that's how we get to cut onto the uh, the exact space that we want to cut so we're just going to run the saw along now So I've built this uh, this jig. Uh, it's a fold up, uh, it's a fold up fence so made out of aluminium. And this is to cut the long stretch of the door, so the one just kind of fits into the other, and like that. And this gives us a, a fence to uh, cut the long side of the door. Now this door is fortunately uh, almost the right size. We need to trim off about two or three millimeters so we're now going to just fasten it over here fasten it over there with our uh, clamps and then we're going to take our uh, circular saw and we're going to just run it through uh, and take a few millimeters off this Okay, so it's important to remember which side is your front and which side is your back because you can make a mistake like that. I'm going to use a blade. I'm going to use a blade to mark out where uh, things need to, to be uh, done. So, okay, and we're obviously going to make it this deep. And there's our little mark for our hinge. Again, walk it up to there. Right, same situation over here. We made our marks on the side of the wall over here. So we're going to score it with our blade over here. And score it with our blade over here. And then we are going to mark it out in terms of depth. The scoring it with the blade again, running it parallel. And now we know how deep and how wide we need to make a blade. Now
So we're going to just drill a few pilot holes so that our screws go into the clip. Now that between there and there, we need uh, th that's where our lock is located. So we're going to put our mortise over there to make sure that our little lever and our lock there fits nicely in there. And so we're going to mark out this area and this area. That's what needs to be hollowed out inside the door. 